Hey everyone, Kevin, KW's Disc Golf, um, kwsdiscgolf.com. I just want to make a quick video. Um, I was able to go out and play a couple rounds um, on the new Latitude shoes. Um, let's see if I can not say um 600 times. And just want to give you my initial impressions. They were comfortable. They, um, I didn't notice any problems at all with them whatsoever. Uh, some people, I read comments wondering about too much grip, um, but I didn't find that to be an issue. Um, I uh, got off the tee pads good, concrete tee pads. I never, I mean, I never slipped or felt like I couldn't turn on any of my throws. And overall, they're just comfortable. The uh, when I first tried them on here in the previous video, I said something maybe about um, didn't feel like there was a lot of arch support, but um, walking out there, I had no issues at all with them. Um, they were comfortable. They they felt lightweight. Um, very heavy morning dew, so definitely I could I mean I could see wetness all up through here, all around it, and my feet were bone dry, no problems at all. Uh, I guess other than that, I don't know what else to say about them. I kind of forgot that I was wearing them. They were just comfortable. So initial impression, they are a comfortable shoe. They are a normal shoe. Um, I didn't know anything, notice anything special. Um, I wasn't on rough terrain or anything, so um, I was just down playing Stony Creek, played um, the new South Course a couple times, and uh, yeah, I guess overall it's a good shoe. I guess really only time will tell how good they hold up. Just staring at them like this, I do notice, like on the knobs, I don't know if I can get in close on these, um, but right in here, like on the edges of the knobs, this is my right foot, so this is my main plant foot. Um, you definitely can see a little wear kind of coming up on the nubs here especially that one right there look so definitely getting wear on the knobs right away same here so one two three three of those knobs this one's got right towards the arch got a little wear um, let's see back side how about the inside of the back around the heel um, Definitely got a little bit of wear showing on these knobs, like the rounded over. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they definitely are showing a little bit of wear. How about my left foot? I'll take a quick look at my left foot here. I'm not really seeing anything noticeable on my left foot. Nope, I don't really see anything on my left foot. Look at the toe. I don't really toe drag or anything, so. Okay, left foot looks okay. Um, look for initial quality, like around the seams and everything. Not seeing any problems, which I sure hope I wouldn't after only two rounds. Everything looks about the same. I guess really the only wear that I can see is on those few knobs on my plant foot you can definitely see some wear so yeah there's my initial look after playing a couple rounds on them but like I said uh, really comfortable um, they felt lightweight um, they're only an ounce and a half per shoe heavier than my uh, Keen Nasu which is a Marshall waterproof so they definitely felt good um, support in the ankle and the foot um, seem to be fine. Um, my feet don't hurt at all. I mean, which kind of is a little odd with brand new shoes. Usually, well, not usually, but sometimes you gotta break shoes in. But yeah, I guess uh, overall I like them. So now it's just only time will tell. And I guess I will just have to keep checking back in over the months and see how long they actually last before one of these knobs wears down flat or comes off or whatever we'll have to see 
So, okay, I guess that's it. Um, these will be available on Friday at noon Eastern Time. Um, check them out, kwsdiscgolf.com. Um, I have the page for these up already, so you can at least view my notes on them or what I expect um, out of the sale of these or whatever. And they're only going to be $99.99 free shipping which is, I think, a really good deal as long as these things stand the test of time. I mean, with my uh, Keen Nasu slash Marshall waterproofs, I um, my last pair I got one year full and the beginning of this year out of, then I bought a new pair, and I like those too. I've had no problems with those, and... Really, the only reason I bought new ones, the tread was fine on them. There was nothing breaking away. It was just, uh, I think they are kind of breaking down inside, um, and they started getting really flat-footed feeling. So, all right, I guess that's it for now. Um, Friday, get you some of these. Oh, and don't forget, um, check me out on Facebook at KW's Disc Golf. Um, I have that uh, Deco Die Giant contest still going. You can enter once per day. Uh, the... Uh, link for the contest form is on my Facebook page. Um, it is also in one of my previous videos, the one from yesterday, I think, that's titled uh, Sampo and Makana and all that, Latitude 64, or a uh, uh, trilogy update or whatever. So Check that out, and I'll keep you posted if I uh, find anything that I don't like about these, but as I said, so far so good. Um, my initial recommendation is it's... Uh, good shoe for a hundred bucks but really how can you really make a judgment after two rounds I mean it's gonna be six months down the line whether they're gonna be worth it or not or however many rounds down the line that you usually get so cool I'll see you guys later